Hello world, this is Random Fix. In this video today, we're going to be bleeding the brakes here using a scan tool on this 2012 Toyota Sienna. So make sure your ignition is on. And this happens to be a Mucar V06. It's about a $400 scan tool with lifetime updates. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So this video is going to be about brake fluid and the scan tools that can actually help you bleed your ABS system and basically automate the bleeding process for you. So I'm going to show you guys just a quick view of this in this video. I have a lot of other videos on how to use these scan tools and again they range from anywhere from about $200 upwards of $2,000. And essentially, they can go ahead and make something that needs to be very complicated a lot easier. And so let me show you how this actually works in this video. And again, if you guys have any questions or I did not cover something in this video, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And once you're under maintenance, you want to go ahead and select that. Select Bleed ABS. Form any mandatory updates. Select the ABS bleed again. And this is helpful when you have a lot of air in your system or you just replace the pump. This is what you need to go ahead and do. Choose your make. Choose the area. Read the instructions on the screen. And it will give you the order. So these tools are pretty smart as it knows exactly what to do. As my actual ABS pump on this car is located closer to the passenger wheel instead of the driver wheel. So follow this exact order. So we're going to do the front right, front left, right rear, and rear left. So I highly recommend wearing some safety goggles. You want to come and locate your bleeder valve. And on this one, it happens to be an 8 millimeter on the Sienna. I've made myself a homemade bleeder bottle here. And you want to try to position the bottle here so the fluid actually goes up. And that way, any air will go up. And you do not introduce any air back into the system. And so what you want to do is have somebody help you by pushing the brake pedal inside the vehicle. Or use a brake depressor tool. And when that is happening and they got their foot on there, they're going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to open up this valve and all the fluid is going to go ahead and gush out into my reservoir here. And you want to keep an eye on your brake level. So if you're going to go ahead and start this, go ahead and top off the brake fluid by making sure you have enough. And you do not want to introduce air into the system from up here. And do not spill brake fluid on your paint. It will go ahead and eat it up. So if that happens, go ahead and... Clean it up right away. In the top of your reservoir cap will let you know what kind of brake fluid you should use. And they make this pretty cool brake fluid now that's actually .3 and .4. It's a little bit more expensive, but it makes it nice having just carry one fluid. Just leave the cap somewhat loose on top as you're doing this and you do not want to leave this off the whole entire time because brake fluid absorbs water so now the line is closed uh, yep remove your foot so we did two preliminary pumps not using the scan tool so now we're going to go ahead and activate the scan tool and we're going to go ahead and activate the scan tool so keep your foot on there and hit ok on the scan tool you can hear that, that the pump is on. Open this up. Press yes to repeat the process. Okay. Do you want to take my foot off? Take your foot off. I... Okay. As you're doing this, keep an eye on your fluid level. Our fluid level is still above the minimum line. Proceed. Remove my foot. 
Now you can remove your foot. So now we're done with the front right tire and we're gonna move to the other side. So you wanna continue doing this as you keep an eye out your actual reservoir here. As you can see that this is going lower and you wanna keep this topped off at all times. Continue to wear your safety goggles guys. Do not touch the paint as you're handling brake fluid. And I hope this video is helpful. And once you get to the right rear tire, you are done with this. And you can go ahead and repeat this process as many times as you like on any side. And so, for example, if the front passenger side brake line broke and that's where most of the air bubbles were, you can go ahead and focus 90% of your efforts on that and just go ahead and repeat this process just maybe one or two times on the other lines to make sure that you are really air free in your brake line and the scan tool is going to make it really easy so as many times as you like to go ahead and hit yes it'll go ahead and keep activating the pump for four seconds so hey guys i wanted to give you guys some pro tips here so when you're bleeding the brakes here you want to make sure you only turn the bleeder valve about a quarter turn so if you open it too much you're going to actually introduce air into the system so have the person inside the vehicle pump the brakes they can go ahead and just give it a single pump and when they have their foot on the brake pedal go ahead and hit the yes on the scan tool can you go ahead and hit yes there you go you shouldn't see any bubbles in the line and you can really get a lot of brake fluid out of the line here using the ABS bleed and make sure when you're done with this that you go ahead and put the dust cover back on the bleeder valve and they do sell replacements if you guys go ahead and lose yours I'll have a link to those in the video description down below as well And as soon as you're done with this, go ahead and tighten up the cap so you don't introduce any more moisture into the system. Make sure this is nice and solid. Again, if you got any brake fluid on the paint, make sure you wash it off right away. Do not touch the paint if you've been working with brake fluid. So that was pretty impressive bleeding the brakes here with the scan tool. And again, it was pretty fast. And if you guys want to help yourself and go a little faster, I definitely recommend making one, yourself one of these bleeder bottles here as it just keeps your job really clean. And I'll have a link down below on how to make your own bleeder bottle like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on units that are capable of bleeding your ABS for cheap, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to get back to each one of your comments. If the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next video. Make it a great day.